In V-Ray Next for Maya, you can now load in physically accurate materials from the V-Ray VR Scan Library, which contains more than a thousand photorealistic scanned materials to choose from. Each VR scan is generated by capturing thousands of images of a real-life material sample, which is why it appears photorealistic in your scenes. Let's start an IPR to take a look at our scene here. You'll notice that the door's generic white color currently looks very flat. To improve it, let's open up the Hypershade editor and create a V-Ray scanned material, which we can use to load in a VR scan for our scene. I'll also rename it Door Interior. All right, let's head over to the Chaos Group VR Scan website and look for something suitable. You'll see that we have a large online library of material types to choose from. In this case, I'd like to find a white leather material to apply to our car door. I can either search for one or just filter by the leather material type and choose white. This one looks like what I'm going for. If I click on it, you'll see that there is additional information provided about the source of the material. To get a closer look, I can also click on the image to inspect a blown up preview of it. Okay, I think this one will work, so let's download it and then return back to our Maya scene. Keep in mind that the VR Scans material library is only accessible to V-Ray Scans license holders. Okay, now let's load in the leather material we downloaded into the VR Scanned material node. Next, I can right click on the door in the IPR and choose Select Object so I can select it and then assign the door interior material to the door to apply the VR scan. Now, as the material loads in here, you'll notice right away that its tiling size is far too large to be realistic. So we have provided an easy fix for situations like this. In the settings for the material, simply select the Adjust UV Tiling option, and the material will automatically be scaled to fit the geometry. Additionally, you can adjust the tiling factor manually. I'll draw a quick render region here to demonstrate that. The tiling factor acts as a multiplier for the UV coordinates. This means that values lower than 1 will decrease the number of tiles within the space, making the size of the texture appear larger. Let's leave it at 0 0.95. Meanwhile, to control the color of the material, we can scroll down to the Appearance section. If we enable Use Paint, we can then change the paint color without losing the texture or affecting the reflection color. The paint color generally looks best when you use a similar value and saturation to the original color and only alter the hue. In this case, I'm going to pick a light brown color. Note that if you want to change the overall tint of the material, for example, to affect the color of the reflections as well, then you can adjust the filter color. Now you've seen how we can use VR scans on GPU to get a very fast preview of photorealistic materials in your scenes.